that blade. She's a pretender to the throne. He's right. In the latest episode of The Mandalorian, Bo-Katan states that to wield the Darksaber and become the ruler of Mandalore, one must win it in battle. This has left many Star Wars fans confused as Sabine Wren gave Bo-Katan the Darksaber in the Rebels TV series, becoming the ruler of Mandalore, at least for a while. Further adding to the confusion, she refused to accept Maul as the rightful heir to the Darksaber after besting Pre Vizsla in the Clone Wars. So what if Bo-Katan was true to her word? What if she accepted Darth Maul as the rightful heir to the Darksaber and the Mandalorian throne? But first of all, some context. The Clone Wars saw the Confederacy of Independent Systems and the Republic embattled in a galaxy-spanning war, which saw the deaths of billions. Orchestrated by the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Sidious, the war was simply part of his plan to overturn the Republic and destroy the Jedi. However, a third faction, a coalition between the crime syndicates and Death Watch Mandalorians, threatened Sidious's plans. In true Sith style, Maul and his Mandalorian allies hatched a plan to topple the pacifist Mandalorian government by orchestrating a fake attack on Mandalore's capital by the crime syndicates. Death Watch would then drive the criminals away and declare themselves leaders of Mandalore, reinstating the old Mandalorian warrior way of life. The plan worked perfectly and Mandalore was now under control of the Death Watch and the crime syndicates. Now seeing him as a threat, Pre Vizsla immediately arrested the two Sith Lords, something Maul had counted on. Escaping their selves, the two Sith challenged Pre Vizsla to a duel, a duel for the fate of Mandalore. A long and drawn out lightsaber duel commenced, the red and black of their sabers flashing before the onlooking Mandalorians. After disarming Vizsla, Maul overpowered him and using the dark saber, beheaded him. Only the strongest shall rule. This divided the Death Watch in two, with half pledging their loyalty to Bo-Katan and the other to Maul resulting in a Mandalorian civil war. While Maul's Death Watch were preoccupied fighting Bo-Katan's Night Owls, Palpatine snuck onto Mandalore, facing Maul and Oppress without the support of their Mandalorian subjects. This allowed Sidious to dispatch of Oppress and imprison Maul. The fighting on Mandalore continued, severely weakening it, and ultimately leading to the subjugation of this warrior race of people by the Empire. So what if, in an alternate timeline, Bo-Katan had accepted Maul as the leader, having won the Darksaber in battle? What would the effects on the galaxy be? In this series, I will explore the possibility. The double thud of Pre Vizsla's body and head rolling down the steps of the Mandalorian throne echoed around the room. Maul stood triumphantly, Darksaber in hand. Bo-Katan watched in horror as her friend and master lay limp. Thoughts raced through her head. How can an outsider claim the Mandalorian throne? Should she break the Mandalorian tradition she had fought for her whole life? Other Mandalorians began to bow before Maul as she felt her grip tightening on her blaster. Should she risk a Mandalorian civil war for the sake of honour and her dislike of outsiders? She paused for what seemed like an age, other Death Watch waiting intently on her every move. No, she thought. If Maul won the Darksaber, then so be it. If the Mandalorians truly were the warrior race of people she believed them to be, someone would challenge Maul and win. Better to bide her time, and perhaps one day a true Mandalorian would take the throne again. Begrudgingly, she bent the knee, the rest of Death Watch slowly but surely kneeling before Maul. Death Watch addressed the crowds that were nervously gathering around the palace. They proclaimed a new golden age for Mandalore, one without pacifism and one where Mandalore would be strong once again. As the crowds cheered, Maul addressed the leaders of the crime syndicates, telling them to prepare for war and the establishment of a new Sith Mandalorian empire like the days of the Old Republic. Without Bo-Katan's night owls causing trouble, 
full lockdown of Mandalore commenced, civilians told to arm themselves in their ancient battle armour and prepare for an imminent attack from the Jedi and their Republic allies. On Coruscant, Palpatine felt a tremor in the Force. Realising his old apprentice was alive and growing in power, he prepared to confront him on Mandalore. The first and only reality of the Sith. There can only be two. And you are no longer my apprentice. A dark figure exited the ship. The two guards were thrown into the air by the power of his twisted mind, their necks snapping. Maul felt his presence, fear clouding his eyes. Turning to Catan, he told them to prepare for an ambush, lying to his men that the Jedi have come to kill him, telling them not to attack until he ignited the Darksaber. Maul's super commandos exited the throne room, while Maul and Opress waited fearfully for their confrontation with Sidious. Sidious entered the throne room, dispatching of Maul's guards and using the force to throw Maul and Opress around like ragdolls. Palpatine unveiled two lightsabers and a long and drawn out battle commenced. Palpatine grinned with arrogance, feeling the power of the dark side flowing through his veins. He knew he could dispatch of these two supposed Sith in a heartbeat, letting out a cackle. Maul ignited the darksaber and clashed with his former master in a flurry of black and red. From afar, Bo-Katan saw the familiar white glow of the darksaber. Her and hundreds of other super commandos ignited their jetpacks, and a rain of blaster fire descended upon where Maul and Sidious were fighting. Sidious let out a stream of lightning towards the Mandalorians, while simultaneously deflecting blaster fire and rockets away from himself. Sheared metal flew through the air, while the sky buzzed with electricity and fire. With the torment he suffered under Sidious flashing through his mind, Maul let out a shriek of hatred and anger. The resultant dark side wave of energy knocking Palpatine to his feet. Rockets and blaster fire rained down on him, engulfing the Sith Lord in fire. Lying in the dirt, burnt, bruised and limbless, Darth Sidious turned to Maul. Do it! In one fell swoop of the Darksaber, Maul bisected the Dark Lord's head a shriek of dark side energy exploding from his body. I am the master now, he whispered to himself, as the hundreds of Mandalorians behind him cheered his name. Thank you for watching guys and make sure to check back here tomorrow for the second part in this series. Do you think it's likely that Bo-Katan would have ever accepted Maul as her leader? Why do you think her opinion on the Darksaber flip-flops so often? Let me know in the comment section below. To celebrate the start of this channel and hopefully a better year than 2020, I'm going to be doing a Star Wars Lego subscriber giveaway. The lucky winner of this giveaway will be picked at random at the end of February and will win both the Mandalorian and Sith Trooper battle sets completely free. All you have to do for a chance to win this awesome prize is to subscribe to the channel turn notifications on, like the video and comment who your favourite Sith Lord is in the YouTube comment section of any of my videos. If you want to double your chances of winning, like our Facebook page and comment there as well so I know to put your name in twice. If you want to triple your chances then head over to our TikTok account, give us a follow and comment there too. As this channel is so new there's a high chance of winning so if I were you I would do all three to maximise your chances. The winner will be revealed on this channel and on Facebook at the end of February. There's going to be plenty of awesome Star Wars content right here which I'm really excited to get into. I'm going to be doing some more comic read throughs and overviews as well as some more lore videos in the near future and it'd be great if you guys could let me know what you want in the comic section below. I will also most likely be doing one of these giveaways every month or so so stick about for that. Best of luck guys and may the force be with you.